In this video, I will show you an operational amplifier integrator circuit example. Assume the numerical values for the input voltage are Vm equal to 50 millivolt and T1 is equal to 1 second. See, this is our applied input voltage. This is a rectangular waveform. From 0 to T1, here T1 is equal to 1 second. That means from 0 to 1 second, our input is going through positive half cycle with its magnitude equal to 50 millivolt. And from T1 to 2T1, that means from 1 to 2 second, our applied input is going through negative half cycle with its magnitude equal to minus Vm or minus 50 millivolt. Now see, this input voltage, this rectangular waveform is applied at the integrator amplifier. See, this is our operational amplifier integrator circuit. We are applying this rectangular waveform at the inverting terminal of operational amplifier through this bias resistor R1. And the output terminal is connected with the inverting terminal. So this circuit will be in negative feedback. The circuit parameters of the amplifier are R1 equal to 100 kilo ohm. That means this bias resistor will have a value of 100 kilo ohm. The feedback capacitor CF will have a value of 0.1 microfarad. The bias voltage of the op amp will be 12 volt Vs or minus Vs will be equal to minus 12 volt. That means we will bias this op amp with two voltage sources. One will have a value of plus 12, another will have a value of minus 12 volt. The initial voltage on capacitor is zero. That means initially the capacitor will not store any charge. As a result, when t is equal to zero or at, at this time instant the voltage in the capacitor or initial voltage will be equal to zero as the initial voltage of the capacitor will be equal to zero and there are no other voltages in the circuit so initially when t will be equal to zero the output voltage will be equal to zero now see we have to calculate the output voltage and we have to plot VO T versus T. That means in the X axis, we will take time. In the Y axis, we will take VO of T. Now, let me solve this circuit. Here, the bias resistance R1 has a value of 100 kilo ohm. The feedback capacitor CF has a value of 0.1 microfarad initially the capacitor is uncharged so capacitor voltage vc at time instant will be equal to zero if we do not apply any input voltage at that instant output voltage will be equal to also zero now what will be the equation of this input voltage see from zero to one second T will be greater than 0 but less than 1 because when T is at 1 second output is at minus 50 so the interval will be between greater than 0 but less than 1 our VI will be fixed at 50 millivolt or our input is going through positive half cycle from this 1 to 2 second the interval will be less than 2 but greater than or equal to 1 because at time equal to 1 second input is at minus 50 millivolt within this interval input is fixed at 50 millivolt now i will show you the output voltage equation and i will draw the output voltage with respect to time while deriving the output voltage equation of operational amplifier integrator circuit, I showed you that output voltage at any time instant VO of T minus VO at time instant TI. This is the initial con condition or initial voltage, initial output voltage will be equal to minus 1 over R1 CF integration of 0 to 
TVIDT within this limit. Now see, as the capacitor is initially uncharged, therefore for the time interval of till less than one second but greater than or equal to zero second, VO of zero equal to zero volt. So I can write down the output voltage equation VO of T minus VO of zero will be equal to minus R1 CF here the limit will start from 0 0 to time at any instant within this interval VIDT here R1 is fixed at 100 kilo 100 into 10 to the power 3 into what is CF 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 integration within the limit 0 to t vi is equal to 50 millivolt or 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 dt now see if we perform the liquid calculation we will get within this interval vo of t will be equal to minus 5 t okay from 1 to 2 second our input is going through negative half cycle therefore the voltage at t equal to 1 second will be the initial output voltage for this interval so what will be the output voltage when t is exactly equal to 1 second when t is equal to t1 or 1 second our output voltage at that instant will be equal to minus 5 t will be equal to 1 so output will be equal to minus 5 volt and this will be the initial condition for the negative half cycle of the output voltage now consider the next half cycle that means for the time interval less than 2 but greater than or equal to 1 We can write down the op amp integrator circuit output voltage equation like this vo of t minus vo this is the initial condition at time equal to t1 or one second equal to minus 1 over r1 c f here the interval will start from one second so the limit will start from one and within this interval the variable will be t v i d t o at time instant t see here this will be minus 5 so minus 5 and minus 5 will be plus 5 if i take it in the right side i will get minus 5 also here i will get minus 1 over 100k into 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 during this interval input is going through negative half cycle or minus 50 millivolt will be its magnitude and if i take it in the right side i will get minus 5 so here if i perform required calculations i will get 5 t lower limit is 1 and upper limit is t minus 5 so here i will get 5t minus 5 minus 5 or our output voltage equation vo of t will be equal to 5t minus 10 for t less than 2 but greater than 1 okay now see if we want to draw the full output waveform or output waveform over a full cycle we have to know the value of output when t is at 2 second when t is equal to 2 second our output at that instant will be equal to 5 into 2 minus 10 or equal to 0 volt so our output voltage vo will be equal to minus 5 t
for this interval and 5t minus 10 for this interval we also know the output voltage vo when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 1 and when t is equal to 2 now see output voltage vo equal to minus 5t this will represent an equation of straight line because this equation is comparable with the straight line equation through the origin y equal to m x where m will be equal to minus 5 x will be t and y will be v o so this will be a straight line equation now look here y equal to m x plus c this is another straight line equation and during this interval v o is equal to 5 t minus 10 if I compare V O equal to 5t minus 10 with y equal to mx plus c, you will see y is comparable with V O. m will be 5, x will be t and y intersect will be at minus 10. Now see, this will be another straight line. And to draw a straight line, we have to know at least two coordinates. In the x-axis, I will take time. In the y-axis, I will take output. From 0 to 1 second, output will represent a straight line. And we know the value of output when t is equal to 0. We know the value of output when t is equal to 1. That is equal to minus 5. So if I add these two points, I will get minus 5 t within this interval. Now see, we know the value of output at this point. We also know the value of output when t is equal to 2 seconds, which is equal to 0. So, if I further add these two points, this will indicate 5t minus 10, this straight line. And if we expand this straight line, you will see it should touch this minus 10 point. So, if you draw the neat sketch of input and output waveform, you will see a output waveform like this with respect to input okay this will indicate minus 5t this will indicate 5t minus 10 okay that's it thank you